Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Sheree. This is a new series that we're going to be answering some of the frequently asked questions you guys keep asking us. The ones that we get over and over <laughs> and over again in comments, so hopefully we can answer them all in one place. So our topic today is... So it's no different on the boat than it is in the RV, so this applies to any mobile lifestyle. Yeah, so yeah, everybody is always concerned, like, where does your mail come to? Where does your stuff get to? How do you get your packages? How do you get Amazon? And it's really not that hard. So first step is we have a mail forwarding service. Um, we use St. Brendan's Isle out of um, Green, Green Coast, Coast Springs, Springs Florida. Florida. And they started in the cruising community, and they also serve RVers and traveling professionals. And so when we get mail, we literally get a mail that says, you've got mail. It's and kinda cool. <laughs> we could then go see the scan of what came in right online. So it's super convenient and easy. Then we click a button that says, I want to have them open it up and scan it for so we can read the whole um, package or letter in there. Um, or we can say shred if it's junk mail. They actually pre-screen out most uh, junk mail for us. Or we just say send it to us. And the next time we have a shipping address, we just give them an address and they, it comes to us. Yeah, they put it in a box or a package or an envelope and send it wherever we tell them to. It's super, super convenient. Yeah. And the monthly cost in the service is only like 20 bucks. There's a lot of other services out there. Um, a lot depends upon what state of domicile that you select. So if you don't own a physical home or you don't really have a home base, you need to select the state that's going to work best for you to have a driver's license and where you vote from and follow your taxes from and all that other sort of logistical stuff. We have a whole blog post at technomadia.com slash domicile going over a lot of the considerations in selecting your state. The, the top popular ones are for, for are South Dakota, Florida, Texas. And the reasons come down to uh, no state income tax for those of us that are still income earning and also the ease of establishing your domicile claim without actually living in the state. So things like <laughs> jury duty exemption and um, yes. you know getting a driver's license and how often you have to return to the state to renew it and all sorts of logistical hoops. And so those three top states tend to come up for it. Uh, the Escapees has a similar service. They serve both Florida and Texas and South Dakota. Um, so you can sign up with them and use their mail forwarding service. Um, so that's one way. So all of our mail, that's our central mailing address. That's our legal address. That's on our driver's licenses. That's what we use for filing our taxes. That's what's on our credit card statements and all this that sort of stuff. And then when it comes to packages and stuff like that. Or having the mail forwarded to Or us. having the mail forwarded to us. Like what address do we use? And fortunately, a lot of RV parks and marinas and stuff will and it's very common for them, they just will accept mail and you just have it come to wherever you happen to be. There are some rare ex um, exceptions to this, like if you're staying in some state parks or national parks, they just don't have to be set up to handle being a mail center for their right. patrons. Um, but most commercial RV parks and uh, marinas do, they know that. If you're a full-timer or a liverboard, you know, they know that's something that you need. Right. Um, if you don't have that option... Um, There's two things you can do. One is sign up. Is find find friends along the way and have them arrange to be your mail drop, and that's actually really convenient sometimes. And then there's general delivery. So the post office has had this like way back in the Pony Express days, yes. and basically you have an address to your name, uh, care of general delivery, and then you put the city, state, and zip code of the post office, and you do want to confirm on their website that that location accepts right. general delivery. Right. Not all of them do. Right, and some might only have one in an area that does, but it's easy enough to look it up, and then you just go pick it up at the post office and uh, um, make, a, make a postal date. Uh, there's also some shipping centers like UPS stores, and maybe FedEx, and some other office centers where you can arrange to have packages come there and meet up for you, and they may charge a small fee for that. Yeah. So there's there's all sorts of options for receiving packages on the road. Um, a lot of people are using in larger areas, uh, Amazon lockers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically where they have their own delivery central and you just go up and pick it up when you want to with yeah. a, a passcode, I guess. Yeah. We don't haven't run into that. Run yet. And then the really one important thing is, is, is what, as, as travelers, you might not be at a place long enough to like just have open-ended delivery. So having doing your shipping with like known confirmed it's going to arrive on this day is super handy that's where amazon prime becomes wonderful because you can really trust when they say it'll be there tuesday it'll pretty much be there tuesday so sometimes if wednesday yeah <laughs> we try not to um we have our departure day kind of plan for at least a day or two after our last package is supposed to arrive just in case there's a weather delay or something because yeah we've had like you know the delivery truck or or something like that has a mechanical issue along the way and that can delay your delivery sometimes yeah. 
Ah, but that's really, it's really not that complicated no. to get mail um, on the road or on the waterway. Um, you know, and yeah, we, we don't have a constant address that we can use. And, you know, it's kind of fun to go look at our Amazon delivery oh, history gosh. of all the places we've been. 100, 100 past addresses. <laughs> it's kind of like easy. our journal. Yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, you just kind of have to pre plan. We usually have an active cart on Amazon of things that we are going to press the buy button on. Next thing we know, we have an address. And our friends and family pretty much know we're arriving before we tell them because packages start arriving. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Okay, so that's how we do mail on the road. It's not so hard. Howdy. This is how you get your mail as a woman. <laughs>